What's good, everybody? It's your boy, and I'm back. Jazz can heal America's soul. We back on another track, man. This is track number five. Come back to me. Let's rock out. Hey. Oh, this is some R&B style right here. Mm. Talking over voicemail is such an R&B classic move. That is the 90s R&B to a T, bro. Hey. Yeah, man. I will say, just from being five tracks in and listening to the music, the production is absolutely, I do what I want to and y'all come along for the ride. He's done a fantastic job of blending everything so far, but he weaves in and out of musical concepts and ideas effortlessly. Like, to just drop off what he was doing in the first part and then jump back into this for, you know, for the second act of the song is absolutely crazy. Yo, talk to him. I said it before and I'll say it again. She has vocals and she has some some shades of Sade. I think that's why I mentioned her earlier. She definitely has shades of Sade. Very powerful vocalist. It doesn't flex a lot. She keeps it in the pocket. But you hear, especially on this one, she's got some range in her. And some of the, some of the keys he's doing on this piano are ridiculous in the form of a song. There he goes. Weaving in and out of these beats is crazy. Just listen. That's crazy. That's crazy to jump like that.
Yeah, this is crazy. This is a, this is, yeah. Okay, she floating on this one. Yeah, man. So, I got a lot to say about this one. Um, with this track here, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I actually forgot to flip it over to uh, so y'all can see this one. But we're all just I'm just catching the vibes anyway for this one. So I think I'm starting to figure out the style a little bit on the on the on his sound, man. Um, it's almost like a Latin soul kind of sound to it. Um, he likes up tempos. He likes up tempo music. He likes fast paced. He likes um, on the higher end of notes and tones. It, like even in the beginning of this song, it almost started off like an R and B track. It like the talking over the voicemail. Like the the even in the first track, the introduction to you know the movie Roots and to talk about the the history of you know the transatlantic slave trade. Like. There's definitely a lot going on here that's beyond just music. It's it's almost like not just a lesson in um like history with the with the roots, but like a history in music. Like it's it's almost giving you a, a walkthrough of a culture from a musical perspective. He's using a lot of things that I don't actually hear a lot of and listening to a lot of Americanized, you know, hip hop and jazz and and rap and R and B and soul and like this is this is something differently entirely. Obviously, still in the same family. I'm not gonna go crazy with it, but a different sound and a different feel. I'm actually very intrigued to hear the rest of this project and to hear how you know Masayo and um, the the young lady Rocio, I believe is how you pronounce her name, to see how they conclude this because I, I don't know where they're going with it. I'm I'm loving it, loving everything about it. Love the way they started it off. Love the way we've progressed until this point and. Uh, like I said, it's starting to feel like I'm getting a little feel out for the art, a little bit of a feel for them. But uh, we'll see where they go with this one, man. This one to me is, I'll give this one a seven and a half, easy listening music. Um, kind of, I feel like it's a little close, near and dear to my heart because I feel like I'm starting to figure them out as an artist. Um, yeah, man. So we'll just jump into the next one. Uh, dope music, man. Dope music. Let go.